What's up, guys? Welcome back to another edition of Nerd Enthusiast Poker Podcast. Uh, make sure you check out our sponsor, theslotsquad.com. They're great. They have all the exclusive sign-up bonuses for all the legal casinos, poker sites in the United States. So if you're in one of these legal areas, you want some free money, go sign up. They have match bonuses, deposit bonuses, and they stream every single night with giveaways. Go check them out, theslotsquad.com. Uh, and let them know that Hoagie sent you. I went to New Hampshire this past uh, summer. Every month I'm breaking down one of the poker rooms I went to because I visited a few. I did an article. If you want to check out the full article, it's on uspoker.com. But, I, dude, I, the more and more I think about it, I really enjoyed it. And I hope that you can get up there next year with me. So today I'm going to talk about uh, Boston Billards. Uh, Boston Billards is in New Hampshire. So the first thing that's a little confusing is, is, is that it's called Boston Billards. And it's actually more of a casino now than it is billards. Uh, but this place is literally like in the middle of like an industrial parking lot. It's in, set in the back. And you would probably drive by it. Like you wouldn't even notice it was there. It is cool though because it is a pool hall first like in the front. And then in the back they have like um, blackjack and table games. And then they got a poker room in the back which has a decent amount. of. T- off the top of my head I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look this up here where I had it. But I believe it's like. 20 some tables they have in this place so a decent a decent amount of uh tables they also run like a monthly poker tournament but you got what's one thing that's cool about it is you can buy your entries early so if you're playing cash like this week and then two weeks is the tournament you can buy your entry that day oh because they register you there on spot yes because they sell out like all their flights sell out because they only it's only like 20 some tables but they sell out uh, but they do this like once a month, and it's pretty cool. Um, everyone's like, the weekend I was up there, they did not have a tournament, and they're like, "Oh, you should have been up here last week for the tournament." I was like, "Well, you know, this is the only week I could get up here, and it couldn't work out." A lot of loose action here. I'm just writing down some notes that I went to. Eight hand it. Um, they do a thing where the first hour. So we got there. Me and Joe got there early, and so this was this was day two of my trip. But day one, I got down there like Thursday night. So the casino was already up and running by the time we got there. Day two, we started fresh and early. We went to breakfast at a place called Tucker's. Had New Hampshire maple syrup. It was, like, awesome. Um, we went over to uh, Boston Boaters. Everyone's like, you got to get there. All these places, everyone kept telling me online, got to get there early. Because they're not 24-7. So they don't open until, like, 1130. Oh, um, wow. Okay. Yeah. So we got there 11 thinking, like, maybe we can get in and, like, they won't deal till 1130. No, they don't crack that door. Uh, so, dude, it's like you're waiting for the iPhone or something. Like, it's all degenerate. Stop. Dude, There's dudes lined up yeah, waiting to get a table. Yes, because. Here, <laughs> dude. <laughs> That's great. Yo, because, listen, and I was one of those dudes because the first hour, if you have a seat between 12 and 1 o'clock, they do this to open the action. The first high hand, um... Well, like the highest hand of that hour is a fifteen hundred dollar high hand. Wait, what? Yeah, fifteen hundred bucks. But here's the thing: there's only like four tables running. Oh, so you have like a one in forty chance, yes. or no, one in thirty two chance? Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. So we got there on a Friday. Now, I, Saturday and Sunday might be different, but like during the week, they open this action up, so like people get there early to get the games going. Yeah. So like you talk about like a Wednesday or Tuesday, like a random day, there might only be two or three tables running, and you have a fifteen hundred dollar chance. Wow. There. So we got dude, in. They have talk about like Harris having them fucking degens. I mean, I can't even imagine those dudes are probably like, "Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Tom." <laughs> <laughs> um, Jeez. Yeah, so they have um that fifteen hundred bucks. So we got there for that. We didn't win it, of course, but uh all good. Um dude, Neiman would have loved this place. It is bomb pot central. Oh my god. Bro. I hate bomb pots, dude. Dude, this place is bomb okay, so if you don't know what bomb pots are, um, you want to you want to kind of explain what it is? Yeah, a bomb pot. So you pick a monetary amount, ten bucks, twenty bucks. Everyone anties in the twenty bucks pre flop. Everyone gets dealt two cards. So pretty much you're into the flop, no matter what card you have. And then you let the you let the the hand proceed as you will. But everyone has to agree prior to the bomb pot in order to be a part of the bomb pot. So right off the bat, you got eight handed. Everyone puts in twenty bucks. There's one hundred sixty dollars in the pot, and then the mayhem just starts because. Again, you have someone who wouldn't have been in there with Jack Deuce get de- get dealt Jack Deuce. And now he flops, to, to, you know, top and bottom. It's just it's just mayhem. It really is. But wait, there's more. There at Boston Billards, you can run multiple decks. 
multiple oh. boards. Oh, really? So like bomb pots, you decide beforehand, and it goes straight to the board of the flop. So you can run like two or three flops. It's in. Or I think it was. I think it was definitely two. You might have been able to run three, but we were running two a lot. Dude, it is insanity. I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. It's that's that's gambling. That me. is gambling. Yes, that's, that, that's that, gambling. That is gambling. So you can run multiple boards. You can run. And here's the other cool thing they did too. So in the bomb pot, if you run multiple boards, whatever the first board is counts towards the high hand still. The second board does not. No. Hmm. Okay. So the first hand. So you're still eligible for the high hand promotions, and you can run the board. But they were doing this every dealer change, every thirty minutes. Oh my god, dude! It, I'm telling you. What was the pre-flop action? Ten bucks. Yeah, we we're doing five and ten bucks. I think I think we I think we did ten maybe once, but we we're mostly doing five bucks. But dude, with two boards running and everybody in, yeah, it was like so. Here, I won every single session I played at in New Hampshire except Boston Billards and that's because I lost a huge bomb pot. Oh, that's it. That yeah. was the one hand and it was like I had a flush draw, two pair, like everything on the board and like some dude hit a boat on the river on this one. Like So, so is is it similar to like um high low where like you're playing two boards so like you could potentially split, split the pot. Yeah. With the, with the other person winning the other board. Yeah. I got you. So, dude, bomb pot central, Boston Billards bomb pots. Uh, these places, man, like they pump out the promotions to get people in the door. Like a lot of great promotions. I feel like, you know, cause they have to be so, so competitive that they like throw out these great promotions. I mean, think people. about it. If they're doing a bomb pot every half hour, they're taking max rake from that one hand, which is probably, you, yeah. you know, and whatever it, it is, they're, yeah. they're hitting that $1,500 promotion probably within the first two hours in rake. Uh, what else we got here? So, okay, so they are run by, it is a legit casino. Everything we're going to tell you, I, I'm never going to promote, like, an underground casino. It is a legit casino. It is run by the New Hampshire Lottery Commission. What is also cool is, I don't know the exact number off my head, but I believe it was 35%. 35% of their proceeds uh, have to go to charity. And one thing that's cool is they do these, like, 10-day promotions I talked about before, but people can come in, like, different organizations, like St. Jude's of New Hampshire or whatever, can come in for 10 days and anything that's raised during those 10 days uh, goes – the proceeds go to – that To that organization. Yeah. That's cool. We did talk about that before. Yeah. And and I think that that – did you say that that was like a stipulation in their licensing? Like mm -hmm. they, it, like they were permitted to operate in that way as long as they, they were doing that. They were mm -hmm. giving back to, to charity. I mean, look, everyone knows casino, they're cutthroat. They look at the bottom dollar. That's, that's, that's legit. That's what's up, you yeah. know, giving back. Yeah, so it's good. So they got a pool bar there, um, a pool hall. I'm sorry. They have a pool hall there, a lot of really nice pool tables. They have a nice bar. A lot of people hung out there. It was like a real big, like, we were there on a Friday, and by, like, time we left around 5 or 6, it was pretty packed at the bar. Like, people come there after work. They hang out, shoot pool, um, play casino. Now, you said they opened at 1130, but what time did they close? Um, off the top of my head, I want to say it's, like, 1 or 2 a.m. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, so you can't be a complete degenerate. And so, dude, so we talked about this on the way home. We're like, me and Joe said this. We're like, dude, we didn't really see people, like, super belligerent. You didn't see people, like, mouthing off the deal or starting fights. But then I realized, like, it's also because you don't have guys that have been sitting at the table for two days straight. Mm -hmm. Like, they have to go to bed. Like, they have to leave. And the, the atmosphere, from what you're saying, it's it's like a party atmosphere already. Like It's more of a hangout. You're, like, having fun rather than just grinding. Um, wait, before you go on, how did Joe do? Um, Joe lost two or three sessions and he won. I know he definitely won the last session. He made a lot back. He was down the first two nights. Uh, I think the first two nights he was down. He didn't do as bad as I thought he was going to do, but he was running bad at Boston Billard. I can feel like he's, yeah, he's, he's spewy bluffy. But I, he, he, he did good. I like talk to him every day. I'm like, all right, man, like just focus on this today. Like little things I was trying to like, yeah, just yeah, yeah, like yeah, tighten yeah. his range up a little bit. Uh, but he made some money back on the last day, so I know he didn't get completely murdered uh, the last day he did all right. Um, but, yeah, so I met with the um, the main director there. His name's Kevin McMahon. He was really cool. He uh, talked to me. Dude, so, like, poker vlogging is, like, a huge thing now, obviously. They allow it there as long as you check in with them. Oh, that's cool. Dude, like, they let me walk around. I'm going to show you guys some video, like, as we're doing this podcast. I'll have it uh, filtered in through it if you're watching the youtube video of this por portion he let me walk around i did a tiktok live stream while i was there we had like 500 people watching like it was pretty cool uh the dude was really uh awesome and open about doing stuff they're they're really um they're really about like promoting you know they they have to you know what i mean like 
Caesars Atlantic City can be like, get the hell out of here. You know, we don't need your business. Right? Yeah, they don't let you take photographs, video, yeah. nothing. Down there, they're more open. So, but anyway, another great place to check out, Boston Billards. It's close to Boston, but it's actually in New Hampshire. So I, I want to say it's about 30 minutes north of Boston, if I'm thinking correctly how we got there. Um, but definitely if you're in New Hampshire, it's in, I'm going to say this wrong, but Nashville. Nashville. Did you, you watch The Office? Uh, I've watched some episodes, yeah. So, so there's an episode where there's like a Nashville office. And I was like saying to my girl, I was like, I was like, oh, that's where Boston Billards is. And she's like making fun of me. She's like, ah, that's where Boston Billards is. I'm like, <laughs> cool. All right, cool. I thought it was cool. Um, so anyway, that was my trip to Boston Billards. Definitely worth checking out if you guys are there. Uh, nice little poker room and tournaments every month.